Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it's one of my favorite days of the month, the day I open my happy mail from you. I hope you'll stick around and see what came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at what came in my P.O. box. This used to be a strictly show us your sheet load video, but I do also get some mail just because. Speaking of just because mail, I was super excited to see this postcard from France when I stopped by the post office a couple weeks ago. Later on in the video, I'll give you a closer look and tell you who sent it to me. If you ever want to send me a card just because, I do have my P.O. box at the very bottom of the description box. And if you would like to send in a card for the end of the month, show us your sheet load feature, I do have a video with details on what to do. Another way you can show us your sheet load is by using the hashtags that are at the top of each printable. I will have this month's hashtags here on YouTube and over on Instagram as a link below so you can check out what other subscribers are creating with sheet load of cards. Tomorrow I'm going to be back with the August 2022 sheet load and I can't wait to share it with you. Why don't we go ahead and see what came in my P.O. box this month. First up is that postcard from France, which was sent in by Trish D, who is from Ireland. I am so grateful, um, thankful that she thought of me when she was on her vacation and sent me this card with a little note. It's definitely going to go up on my postcard wall. Thank you so much, Trish. While we're speaking about Ireland, I did open up the envelope from my crafty Irish friends, which Trish is one half of that duo. Here is a look at the cards that Trish sent in her envelope. She sent in some beautiful examples using the July 2022 sheet load, and in the middle was a cute card for me with a nice note. Rita, the other half of my crafty Irish friend duo, sent in lots of cards this month. On the left are some summary examples using July 2022, and on the right are some cards she was inspired to create after a recent episode of Oh So Inspired Live. Thank you so much, Rita. Keeping with the international theme was a package from Joan O of Denmark. She also used the July 2022 sheet load and created some more masculine cards. She has also sent me that wonderful shaker there in the middle with a nice note. Thank you, Joan. Beth R. from Georgia sent in two lovely July 2022 examples. I am loving the shine on each of them and the addition of the ribbon. Also, the insides were decorated so cute. Thank you, Beth. Jackie F. from Arizona sent in a Disney-themed July 2022 example and this adorable postcard on the right with a nice note. Thank you so much, Jackie. Sherry P. from Missouri shared this example using the July 2022 sheet load. It is a thank you card and had a wonderful note inside. Sherry is going to be rejoining Stamping Up in August, so let's all send her out some good vibes for lots of sales. Thank you, Sherry. This card from Cheryl S. of Utah reminds me of a summer picnic. I love that red gingham and strawberries, and I wanted to also show you how she decorated the envelope and the inside of her card. So fun. Thanks for sending it in, Cheryl. 
Dana D. from Indiana sent in this cute example of July 2022. I am loving the shadow on that Hello die. I'm not sure if you can see it on screen, but it has some fun piercing around that outside edge. Thank you so much, Dana. Next up is a card from Robbie R. of North Carolina. I am loving that deer, and guess what? It is Robbie's first time creating with a sheet load. I'm so glad you gave it a try, and thanks for sending in your card. And speaking of using sheet load for the first time, this next card came from John Yell S. of Delaware, and it uses the July 2022 sheet load. But if you've been around my channel long, you've probably seen her in the comments or chatting on the lives, and she just recently celebrated a year of channel membership. I would have had no idea this was her first time putting sheet load to use. I am so glad to have you as a subscriber, a channel member, and now creating with sheet load, Johnyell. Thank you so much for sharing your card. Iona S. of Washington has also used the July 2022 sheet load to create birthday cards. I am loving the pretty floral papers and the addition of those sequins. Thanks so much, Iona. Christina M. of Illinois sent in three sheet load examples this month. From left to right, she has used May, June, and July 2022. I loved seeing each one of these. Thank you, Christina. Next up are two cards from Carmen B. of Colorado. On the left is a card using the December 2019 sheet load, and on the right, she gave July a try as well. She does have a video here on her YouTube channel, which is Choose Joy with Carmen, showing you how she made hers. Thanks, Carmen! I am loving the gorgeous bird and ribbon on this card from Sharon M. of Indiana. I also like how she has made the layout her own by centering the square on the card front. Thank you so much, Sharon. Karen C. of Virginia has done a little sheet load rewinding this month. From left to right, she has used July 2019, July 2020, and July 2021. Now you might be wondering, where is July 2022? Well, if you haven't heard the good news, Karen joined the collaboration team this month, so you'll be able to find her July 2022 set on her channel. I will have that video linked in the description box below. Thank you so much, Karen, and welcome to the team! Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to send in a card or cards this month and for sharing your creativity with all of us. Thank you as well to the viewers who are watching and enjoying this. If you did like seeing all of their creations, I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up. Until my next one, which is the new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.